over 21 million people, as stated by the National Population Commission of Nigeria in the year 2016. Why is Lagos so populated? Many people see Lagos as a place where their dreams would come true, while others see Lagos as a place of livelihood. And it makes everyone from every part of Nigeria flock in to settle, to make business, and make ends meet in this population. But this population has caused a lot of traffic in the city and it has been a regular problem that everyone seems to be talking about. Now, what is the solution? Let's talk about it. So I am here to give you four tips, just four, that will help you navigate Lagos traffic. This also Lagos traffic this Christmas period, so stay tuned. Welcome back outliers to my YouTube channel! As usual, I am the freestyle and the travel and lifestyle brand. I have a blog. I just recently started a podcast, guys. What? Yes, I started a podcast. Go check it out on every channel. Spotify, Apple Podcasts, everywhere. Just check it. It's called The Big Dreamers Podcast. But after that, we'll just get straight into this video. So, I'm tired of Lagos traffic just the way you are tired of it. And there are three major ways that every Lagosian has been able to combat traffic. Now, if you're a Lagosian, you probably know most of these things, but these are for those I, don't, I just came in that don't know how to navigate Lagos traffic during times like this. Now, this this particular way might not be most suitable to you because you're just coming in means you're a touch person. It means that you might not want to do some of these things, but let's just... I mean, they are, they, are, they are not new ways that can help you be touch and still navigate the traffic. Yeah, so one is Okada. Yeah. Motorcycle, as you may know it. So one way to navigate traffic in Lagos is being on an Okada. It's like the fastest, the swiftest, the swiftest way to navigate traffic in Lagos, and it's awesome. So now these days, if you don't want to be seen on an Okada because you are too too to be on an Okada, there are new, there are new startups. There's one Max NG. So I'm not only saying this because I'm an ambassador of Max NG. Now Max NG is a startup that allows you to go on an Okada. You can also use the Okada to make deliveries. You can basically say I want to deliver something to somewhere in Ekwe and you don't want to go to that Ekwe place. You book for their services basically up on your phone. So it's the same thing. Like the way you book an Uber or you book a taxi fire. You can always book for an Okada and it's branded. You wear an element, it's safe, they monitor all the speed limits. They make sure you're basically safe. It's not risky as much as the conventional Okada but my dear my sister anyone you see you go on just make sure that you are safe and <coughs> you combat the traffic altogether the second one is KK KK Marua now KK Marua is 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 a bit I mean it's good also it's just that they are it's not everywhere that they can be on they can't be on Todd Mainland Bridge they are also restricted on in some areas in Keja so yeah Hekemarua is a tricycle as you may know it. <laughs> yeah. You can always go on that. If you want to know more about Kekemarua, I think you should have the Kekemarua experience. It's actually fun. In case you already know this, I mean that is not new for you, but I'm just making it known to those who do not know. And just a quick break. If you're not following me on Instagram and Twitter, you should post more tips on travels and lifestyle there. So make sure you you know follow me there. Let's read some yeah. So the third tip is going on a BRT. Hold up. Just hold up. Let's take you to the BRT. Alright guys, so right here is the BRT bus I was talking to you about. Yeah. Welcome back guys, I hope that was awesome. So the BRT basically is like a big bus that takes a lot of people in at the same time. And you, it's actually cheap, that's, that's one, it's cheap and quite faster. It's faster because they have a particular lane dedicated to them alone. So nobody, no car, no car, no tricycle is expected to be on that lane. So that makes it fast for them. But the limit is they don't go everywhere in Lagos. I'm just trying to help you guys out here. If you want to know more about this BRT, check out my blog post on www.defisal.com. Everything will be in the description box below. Yeah, I would not say everything explicitly here, but my blog will definitely do justice to that. Yeah, so BRT, Tricycle, Okada, 
What do you think the last one is? <laughs> That's all. <laughs> Did you guys think that was all? Somebody is here to tell you what the last one is. Just hold up. Hold up. Hold up. come and tell them what the last one is. The last one is strange. Oh, sorry. We don't have anything in the last So, my brothers and sisters, we don't have a working train. We don't have a train that works. If you don't know, go watch this video right here. I've done a video about it. We have a new train in Abuja, by the way. I did a video about the new train. Um, I did a reaction to the video. I've not experienced it. Waka girl, she did a video. I reacted to the video, basically reacting to the thing. Yeah. So go check it out. So that's been it. I am awful that we're going to have a good train in Lagos, and not just in Lagos, other parts of the country that works. Because I know that train would greatly, immersely solve the problem of transportation in Nigeria. In Lagos to start with, because Lagos is overpopulated. And imagine if we have a cheaper way and a more exotic way of going around the city. People will definitely flock into that and there will be less traffic on the road. There will be, you know, basically less traffic and cheaper service. I mean, that's awesome. That is awesome. I'm looking forward to that happening. I know it's going to happen. If they don't think it's going to happen, we will make it happen. Yeah. So don't forget to go check out my podcast, The Big Dreamer, on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Anchor, or whatever you use to listen to podcasts. Let me know what you think about it, and let's basically get talking about dreaming big. I'm all about dreaming big. I want the best for the country. I want the best for myself, and I want the best for so many things. Just go there, listen to what I have to say about um, my dreams for the future, and why I think everyone should also dream big and, big and not limit themselves. Yeah, not to ramble too much. We are done with this video. Subscribe to my channel if you are yet to for more juicy videos on travels and lifestyle. Like this video if you didn't enjoy it. And, and, and don't forget to share. I don't know what number meant to be. I'm, I'm actually pretty odd. I'm recording in a very odd studio. Too much information, not needed. But I can't wait to actually be done because I am hot. <laughs> yes. And as usual, don't forget to stay awesome, stay inspired. Peace. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up.